Now I have to confess something. Never seen the show. You know why? Why is that? Because it's freaking scary, man. Come on, zombies. Um, yes. I don't want to make this too uh, grand, mm. but um, you're running an empire here. Yes, that's that's well, what we I do mean, here. I mean, it's a, it's a television show and mm -hmm. now a franchise. That's right. That has a chief content officer. It's it's not the title as a kid when you're reading comics yeah. and playing video games and looking at movies. You're like, yes, and one day, chief, chief content chief officer. What's it like having your hands on something that's so culturally huge? I started as a fan. So I try to serve that fan. I just want to maintain not only that fandom for, I guess, the health of what I do, but also just for, just for a little bit of joy. <laughs> I think it's about that. It's, it's remaining the fan I always was and serving that person. We, we have to take risks. That's serving the audience if you're taking risks. Are we pushing harder? Are we trying to make these shows as different from one another as possible? Are we trying to make these movies different from the shows? Are we offering the audience the very reason to have a universe, which is a varied slate of stories? It, it occurs to me, actually, this isn't really a show about zombies, right? Not a show about zombies. It's a show about people. It's who you become when all of the things that surround us that in some ways make us what we are in this insane world, they all fall away. And we realize we have much, much more in common uh, than differences. And the weaknesses of people, yeah, they bubble up. Um, and then these incredible strengths that they didn't know they have bubble up. And pretty much if you're breathing, you're family. Scott, thanks a lot. Thank you, sir.